day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison between Zubuntu 20.10 on the left and Manjaro 21 on the right. Now, these two make a fairly good uh, comparison because they are both very uh, popular releases and they are both based on the uh, XFCE desktop environment. And getting into the XFCE desktop environment, you'll see you've got more of the bare bones one on the uh, Zubuntu side of things. So you've got your start menu, your little search menu, context menu there. Uh, whereas on the right hand side, if we, you've got a one that's uh, customized to look a lot more like any version of Manjaro, be it you know a, a GNOME, a KDE, whatever version. So nice uh, dark green uh, tones and colors there, the green and black or green and gray. But it is got does have the same basic functionality there. Got the right context menus there as well. Uh, moving on, if we were to say look at the file manager. We'll probably see that we've got the exact same one there. So click about, it should be yeah, the Thuna file manager there, the exact same version in there as well. Do, again, does look a little bit different with the colors, the tones, but hey, exactly the same either way, particularly when it comes to functionality. Uh, if we were to have a look, a uh, little bit of a look under the hood there, for instance, uh, let's see what we've got working with us. So very uh, much later kernel here. So 5.13 on the left, whereas 5.10 on the right for uh, Manjaro. Probably it is a good time to mention this, but uh, Zubuntu, of course, is based off Ubuntu, so it is using uh, the kernels that Ubuntu uses, whereas Manjaro is actually based off uh, the Arc Linux, uh, which is a really thriving uh, community there, to say the least, but um, it, it is actually running on a, let's call it a, a stable, more stable, slightly older version there. This is all customizable and changeable, but this is really what it is out of the box and what you'll probably be sticking with if you do install it there. Um, let's have a look at the, the RAM usage and whatnot. So CPU is looking okay. Now you're using about 550 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Zubuntu. So that's pretty good for any Linux desktop environment. Whereas uh, we have about 550, 560 for Manjaro. So a little bit more, but still great for any uh, Linux uh, distro there. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, just keeping it short and sweet. Please leave a comment. Uh, uh, hit that like button and subscribe and I hope to see you all there in the next one. Cheers.